Hello, Steve White, Steve White 39. Well, I already did a video about Sam Smith's video, I'm not here to make friends, but unfortunately I didn't realize he identified as non-binary and I spent the whole video referring to them as a him like I just did a moment ago. Um, I'm not restarting this because of that. Um, it is difficult to remember. It's not a deliberate act of disrespect to do that accidentally. Um, okay, so... Okay, so I heard about this video and I saw the controversial images of um, Sam um, having streams of water hitting him and appearing as though he was um, enjoying certain showers which may have something to do with gold um, in the video. And I sort of thought, what is that? Because he cannot literally depict that, so what is that? Well, it's people dancing around little fountains. Um, that I think might be in a room that's supposed to look like a toilet. There's only one, it's, I think it's like three shots. Um, and I didn't pause or stop or anything. So that's one of the big controversies because he's sort of playing with that, which is something that people see as a perversion. Um, I'm not hugely interested in or offended by said fetish. Um, I'm not going to go any further with that, um, but it's not my thing. But I'm not really bothered by it either. Um, I... I mean, would it be any different if a straight guy or a straight woman had filmed the exact same scene in a video? Um, I think people would be as bothered by it. I don't think it's homophobia, although people are who people who are homophobic are jumping on that, and you know, so you know, it's the same thing basically. You've got the same people attacking him. Um, see, I did it again, attacking them. Um, but yeah, um, the thing that I don't like about the video is actually. Something in the community, because I'm a gay man, um, and identify as a man, um, I'm not particularly bush, that's fine, I don't see that you have to be, but um, I'm not especially feminine either, but I do feel this pressure to be, there seems to be this idea, now I love what um, RuPaul has done for the, the scene, gay scene, and she has elevated drag queen to an art, um, and those performers to artists, and icons and so forth and she's done a lot but um now they're seeing that it's just sort of cemented the idea that being gay means you automatically have to be a queen and you have to be over the top and feminine and fierce all the time and it's like most of the gay men i know are just men who like to sleep with men it's really they're not queens there's there's an element of the community that that is their identity and then there's i think a larger element of people who feel like they have to be that I certainly went through a period where I felt like I had to be like that because that was, that was, that was, you know, that was it. That was what, that's what being gay was. Um, and, and I think you also have a bit of rebellion against the um, straightness you've been raised within and been sort of forced to conform to. But then you grow out of that and then you just want to be yourself and often yourself ends up being fairly ordinary. Um, not everyone is as fabulous as Elton John, you know, at a concert. Um, so yeah, I'm more bothered by that than any, um, depictions of showers with various gold things. <laughs> Trying not to say any of the actual words. Um, but yeah, I mean, the video is basically him showing up like a queen being, you know, lifted and carried into this, um, royal sort of, and it actually was a building that, um, was owned by royalty or something, but, um, was being was open to the public for events and he filmed there and a lot of people are offended and upset by that and I'm just like, oh god. But um yeah, it's 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 kind of vulgar and it's meant to be. It's just people being sort of vile and, and over the top and grotesque in their um superficiality and he's basically saying, I'm not here to make friends, I need a lover and I'm like, well I'm not gonna fat shame. But um, he's starting to gain some weight, and he might want to think about his health. Um, that is my concern, not with his appearance or any of that, but I'm not sure what that's about. Because I, I would have thought, having sort of come out as um, non-binary, he would have perhaps um, shed some of his stress and anxiety or whatever, and any eating issues would have actually you know, gotten better. But um, they seem to have gotten worse for him because he's gained weight. Um, yeah, I mean, there is an L, a section of the community that likes heavier men, but they're usually like the masculine bear types, not the sort of 
um, feminine queen type. So I'm not sure how far this image is going to get him. Uh, I'm not sure who this is for. Um, it just comes off a bit narcissistic and superficial and um, provocative just for the sake of it. Um, the song itself, oh, we actually get into the song. The song's fine. It's nothing special. Um, I've seen him perform live. He was great. He was better than Dua Lipa and the other people who were performing. He really put us on a great show. But I didn't know any of his songs. I still don't know any, any of his songs. This is the first time I heard this one. Um, I would just like him to get fit, <laughs> get healthy, and um, be himself. And if this is himself, go. You go, girl. If this is not himself and a performance he's putting on because he feels pressured by the community to be a certain way or look a certain way, I just want him to be himself and be happy.